I was recently asked about whether or not I take requests by my one of my subscribers, Arts Cafe. Great, it's, you know, I really appreciate his support. He watches my videos, comments, you know. In, in general, I want to say I really appreciate, you know, that there are people out there who want my thoughts on specific movies or, or shows and such. You know, if you're watching this video, there's a decent chance that you too want to request a specific video by me, and that's why you're watching. I really want to meet people's request. Meet request? That's what I'm going with. I want to do videos on the things that people request I do videos on. I have made a few rules about it because there have been times in the past where people perceived my you know they would they would ask could you do this and my response would be like a maybe or I'll look into it and they would perceive it as me making a promise that not only would I do it, but I would do it very soon. And this led to frustration both for these viewers and for myself. Now, some of these rules you might not know before you make a request if it lives up to the rules. I'm not saying that you have to somehow magically know. I'm saying go ahead and make the request and know that if I say no, it's because it turns out to not live up to one of these rules. And I think I'm going to try to, if, if my answer is a no, I'm going to let you know why that is, you know, which of the rules it is that, so you can know whether it's likely to happen down the line. But yeah, that, you know, that's why it's not that I don't appreciate your viewership and interest in my channel. Please go ahead and request what you want and I'll let you know if it's a yes or no for me. So, the rules. Number one, access. It has to be either on the Danish Disney Plus, it has to be a DVD or Blu-ray that I already own, and again, I'm not expecting you to magically know that. Or I'm going to wait. It's, it's going to be something that I'm going to have to wait for until there is a sale on the DVD or Blu-ray or the like. Disney Plus is my only streaming service, I'm really not expecting to get any others. Current rule number two. Currently, and I will, I'll probably make another video replacing this one when when that is no longer the case. So if you're watching this video, it means it's still the case. Currently, if it's a if it's an ongoing show, it has to be something short for you know the way that the current MCU Disney Plus shows are. Nothing with a lot of seasons until my back feels a lot better. And I am planning, you know, when my back feels better, I'm going to go back to, you know, I I do miss doing, like, long shows, you know, like how I would do without a trace with seven seasons of, of like, 22 episodes per, you know. So I am going back to that. But if you're watching this video right now, you know, my back is still too bad for that kind of thing. Rule number three. No movie or show that I really don't want to, even if I have access to it, again, not expecting you to know, but if, yeah, there are some, I guess I could just right off the bat, I really don't think I'm ever going to subject myself to a Michael Bay movie ever again. I, I have watched several of his movies. I actually, holy crap, I think I watched, for a while, I think I've watched most of them. I think I've watched every Michael Bay movie from Bad Boys 1 through Bad Boys 2. No, I don't know either. I don't know why I did that, but I... Because I used to have I used to have a friend who loved them, and he he said that Pearl Harbor was a better movie than Black Hawk Down. I'm no longer friends with him, 
And though that isn't why, that is one reason that I'm glad I'm no longer friends with him. And finally, rule number four, I can't promise I'm going to get to your request soon. And... You know, these days I plan ahead quite a bit. Now, I might stop that, but yeah, it's it's not going to be like... I, I can't promise that I'm going to fit it in to, to the schedule really, really soon. Anyway, this last, bit's, bleh, this last bit is not a rule, but please let me know if for the request you're making, you're especially interested in my thoughts on... For example, how it compares to another franchise or earlier films in the same franchise, etc. Or how it does it representing a specific subject. Like, hypothetically, you know, I have done a video on every single live-action Spider-Man movie. But, hypothetically, if I hadn't, and you really wanted, you know, yeah, let's say you were requesting one of the Garfield or one of the Tom Holland movies, and you really, really wanted me to compare it to, you know, the, the Tobey Maguire ones, you know, something like that. Let me know. I don't always, you know, go into every single thing like that if I'm not already aware that, you know, there at least one of my viewers out there really wants me to. I, I'm very happy to, but it's not something that I always, you know, yeah, in, in, my, in several of my Spider-Man videos, I don't spend that much time comparing the the different continuities so yeah and with that said video request away was that always a verb it is now